Okay, so we are recording. Um, we are going to talk about some upcoming things that are going to be coming up in the next month or two. So we, we want you guys to be prepared so you can turn around and make sure that your teams are prepared. Um, we are also, well, I'm also going to talk about one of the things that I've recently implemented. It's fairly new, so I haven't really had much time to trial it out, but so far I'm loving it. Um, and I just wanted to make you guys aware that this is an option out there. Um, so I'll talk about that kind of towards the end. But first of all, today is the very last day to register for the Early Bird World Tour. Okay, it's $22. Um, make sure your teams know that. If you have not posted that in your team page, make sure you post that in your team page. The Early Bird um, release is where they get access to all of the... Um, Sorry, let me mute some people. Okay, so they get access to all of the trainings when Virtual World Tour releases. Plus, you get like a little goodie bag in the mail, okay? You'll get your lanyard with your name on it. Um, I don't remember all the other things, but you get a little goodie bag in the mail, which is super fun, especially, especially because of the fact that it's kind of a bummer that we don't get to meet up in person. So... Early bird, um, today is the last day. Now, regular registration, you can, if you have someone who signs up as a new consultant, I think it's $11 if I remember correctly. Um, all that is going to give them access to is the actual streaming of the world tour. They have 30 days to watch it after. Um, and you have up until two days before the event to register for the streaming access, okay? The event is on January 22nd, which is a Friday. So they have up until that Wednesday to actually sign up for that, just so you guys are aware of that. Um, they can sign up in their events tab, okay? If you guys have any questions about World Tour, um, drop it in the comments. Now, um, Chloe, Melanie, and I are actually planning a huge like get together for World Tour. Um, we are coming up with all of the details and we will be releasing them pretty soon. So it's open to everyone in our entire group, your teams, um, families. It's going to be an, a day event and it's going to be really fun. So just stay tuned for that. There will be a separate Facebook page um, for that world, world tour bash, okay? Um, the next thing I wanted to remind you guys about is the buddy drive, um, the Eli's Peace buddy drive. We all got emails, unless you joined right after Chloe sent these emails, but she sent them to our entire group. So if anyone has questions about that buddy drive, there is a specific Facebook page for the buddy drive. Um, you're a part of that. So you guys can answer questions or ask questions in there so they can be answered. Let me. Okay, perfect. So. Um, we have a goal of 600 buddies. I'm sure you guys have a personal goal. Um, so just make sure you're promoting that. Um, yeah, and then, all right, bring back my bro, bring back my bar. They are going to hopefully be released in the news tab with all the details on when they're going to be released, when we can get our kit. Um, if you guys have never been with us for a bring back my bar, as a consultant, they release a they release a Bring Back My Bar kit that we can purchase before they are actually released. That way we can make samples and whatnot um, and be able to get them out to our customers, right? Because if they smell them, they're more likely to buy them. So that has not been released in the news tab, but just keep an eye out. See it they're on not, the news. They're not doing kits. What? They're not doing kits this time. They're not? No. Okay, I'll miss that. Never mind, y'all. Scratch it. No kits. No kids this time, but don't get just because you can still smell something you didn't sniff. Okay, don't get yeah. scared. And, and a lot of the a lot of the scents that are returning are really freaking good. So there are like five up there that I am obsessed with, and that has never happened with a Bring Back My Bar since I've been a consultant that I've loved so many. So I'm this is probably my favorite Bring Back My Bar that we've had yet. So say, uh, just keep it on your news tab, check it once daily. If you see that, you know, something new has been released, share it to your team page, okay? Don't expect someone else to do it. 
Um, all right, last thing that I was going to talk about, and then I'll let Katie, and then I'll talk about the new thing that I implemented, um, is our leadership page. Um, we should not have to ask you guys to show up on our leadership page because what's happening is your leaders are there because they want leadership content, right? They have your team page. That's where you're showing up, giving them content on booking parties, um, how, to have, how to have recruiting conversations, how to expand your customer base. Um, all of the basics of your business is going to be in your team page, right? Our leadership and director pages, mainly our leadership page, is for leadership content. So how to lead a team, how to connect with your teamies, how to lead from the front, all of that jazz, okay? So when you guys are posting in the leadership page, I want you to ask yourself before you post it, is this leadership content or is this more basic content that can go on your team page? Um, the other thing, Please do not ask if someone has a specific product. That's what the ISO page is for. Go to that page. I promise you someone, someone on that page will have what you're looking for, okay? And there's going to be like 10 that private message you and keep messaging you until you respond to them. So if you're looking for something, that's what that page is for. Um, the other thing, if you are doing something leadership-wise in your business, post it on the leadership page. Show your team that you're working. If they see you working, they're more likely to work also, okay? So, oh, the other thing, Katie, I don't know if you added it, but we are also going to add um, admin questions. Is that what they're called? No, like joining questions. Um, when you add someone to the group, they're gonna have to answer those questions in order to be approved on the leadership page. It's gonna be something like, um, who's your sponsor? What title are you? Okay, something simple like that. But the admins, all of the directors are admins for our leadership pages. If you guys see that someone did not answer the questions, delete them or deny them, okay? So if you're adding someone, just make sure you say, hey, make sure you answer the questions on the page, okay? And if you're uh, admin, make sure like before you approve posts, like I just had one I denied, somebody po tried to post on this page, how do you clean out your diffuser? That's not what this page is for. So if you are an admin, just may ask yourself before you approve a post, does this belong on this page? Yeah. I'm glad you are saying this because I feel like a straight savage when I'm declining posts. I'm like, nope. Nope. <laughs> and don't message me to ask either because I have had a couple of directors ask, is it okay if I do not deny it? Y'all should see the stuff I deny on Redeemed Blessings too. I don't play no more. Like, I'm real sorry. You don't post nothing up here, but you're trying to come up here and find an extra Sully buddy by Felicia. <laughs> yeah. Felicia. Yep. So leadership content only. Okay. And if, if you are questioning yourself, whether it's leadership content, it's probably not. So Katie, you can talk about um, what you had on your list and then I'll go into the app that I'm using. Okay, so I'm going to start first. So there's two parts of what I'm about to talk about. And I want to talk about leaders in their personal business first. So this does go to directors, but it does also go to if you're a leader or above or if you have a team. So y'all will find I do this every year, January will be four years since I start since I've started. And every year, um, November and December, you'll see me kind of take a step back. And it's not that I'm pulling away. I still, I always work my personal business, no matter what's going on in my life, my personal business. Is, I'm always going to recruit. I'm always going to have high PRV. I'm always going to work with my team. But this time of year, November, December, I step back and I start thinking about the year ahead um, and what I want as a vision for my personal business. What am I doing that's not necessary? Um, what do I not enjoy doing in my business that I can change? And I do this every November and December and have ever since I've started to prepare for the next year. What I really want you guys to do this month and next month is start reflecting on your business of what's not working. What do you, what have you been doing over and over and over again, but you're not seeing the results you want to from that specific action or that specific task. 
you're not seeing the benefit of your effort. I'm going to give you an example. I made a decision um, today and I've talked through it today with Ray Ray and Chloe to make sure I was making the right decision because I've had this on my heart for a while. Every Monday, I do a Monday tip email for my team. I do a monthly leadership call with you guys. I do a monthly team call with you guys. And I also coach my team and work with my team. And what I found from that was what out of those tasks, because I'm pouring too much into my team and not enough in my personal business, what am I not? Dixie? She's getting old, y'all. And like the older she gets, the more senile she gets. And she just sparks that air. Um, so she's fine. Um, but I was saying to myself, like, those things are important working with my team. Yes. But what am I seeing the benefits of? So one of the things I thought about was my team meeting. I schedule posts on my team page, too. So I have consistent content. I am working one on one with my leaders. I am working one on one with the people that want this business. I am working. I am doing those things that am I reaping what I'm sowing? So I have a team of 300 for four years. I've done a monthly team meeting for four years and it's the same 10 people that pop on, but there are also the same 10 people that I coach individually outside of the team page. So going into the new year, that was one of the things I said, you know what, can I do this better? Can I work more efficiently? Can I do a live video instead of a, a zoom call at night, taking time away from my family? Can I do a 30 minute zoom? every other week and get the same benefits of it. So I said all that to say this. I want you guys to evaluate your businesses now. Is what you're doing right now, are you seeing results from what you're doing? Whether that be the way that you're partying, the way that you're sponsoring, and I'm going to go into what I do to sponsor now that's different than what I used to do. And how do I work with my team? Can I do that and simplify and get things out so I can add more beneficial things into my business? There is no right or wrong way to work this business. And I want you guys to say, okay, we all have a PRV goal. Ray Ray may do online parties. I may do bag parties, but either way, our goal is the same. It doesn't matter how we get there as long as we get there. There's no right or wrong way. I have a lot of people that will message me and say, how, how should I work my business? And I don't have an answer for that. Because there's no cookie cutter way to say, this is how you do it. It's what's going to apply to your life and work into your life. So when I talk about systems and we actually, I think we came up with a different word for that, like not saying system, but how do you work? How do you work when you go into your nine to five job? How do you know what you're supposed to do? Same thing with this business. So I want you guys to really reflect this month and next month on how do you want your 2021 to to go are you overwhelmed in your business right now are there things in your business that you don't really need to be doing that you're doing too much of and not enough and if one of those things is you're pouring too much into your team instead of your personal business and that's where I was at like I'm giving and giving and giving and giving but the same people are showing up and those are the same people that are promoting and the same people that I'm coaching like why would I double dip five times into working with my team so I'm going to simplify so I want you guys to simplify and think about how you've worked for the last six months how have you worked your business and is it working and have an honest conversation with yourself and say this is not working the way I'm partying is not working example the way I was recruiting was not working it was not working so for the last six months when I book parties it's not for PRV my PRVs come from follow-ups. That's where my PRV comes from. Follow-ups in my VIP page and taking very good care of my customers. Partying for me is now a recruiting thing. And I've done that for six months. I don't do parties to get PRV. I get parties to recruit them. So my best customer that keeps saying, no, 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 no. I don't want to join. I don't want to join. I'm like, okay, well, let's get you some free stuff. Then when we go to close their party, I'm like, girl, you can join for free, for free. And then flip it. That's why I party now. I've, I've changed the way that I recruit totally because the way I was doing it before I was not intentional 
and it wasn't working. I wasn't recruiting the way I needed to recruit. So I had to switch that up. So reflect on where you've been, where you want to go. What do you want your 2020 to look like? And ultimately be excited about your business. And I say this on every call, whether it's a team call or leadership call, if you're not excited about your business, your team is not going to be excited about your business. And I say this with all the love in my heart, because from so many leaders, this is the common thing I say, I hear, I can't get my team to work. My team's not doing anything. And listen to this because I'm not trying to hurt feelings. Stop trying to make dead weight come alive. Stop trying to get dead moms. Y'all know I kill every plant that's in my house. Okay. For real. Stop trying to save them dead moms. They gone. They are gone. They gone forever. So focus on new growth. And I say that because y'all know if y'all have been riding this journey with me for a little bit, I would try to make people that didn't want to work, work. And you can't make people do something that you they don't want to do. I said this today. My top leaders, so Kay, they're on this first screen. Ray Ray, Stacy, and Kayla are my, some of my first directors. I didn't train any of them. They asked me questions and I answered. Like, I, I didn't ghost them, okay? I didn't ignore them. But I was here if they needed me. Your leaders don't need you. They don't need you. I hate to say, your top leaders don't need you. They're going to figure it out. They're going to do it. Stop focusing on dead weight and what I'm seeing and I see this with people's active front line they're not you're focusing on the dead weight instead of bringing on new blood and as a leader that's the worst thing you can do because you're going to get so sucked into people that aren't working that you're going to question your leadership and you're going to say they're not working because of me I'm not doing something right so let me step my game up and do all these million things that you stop recruiting the best thing as a leader that you can do, and I saw this last month because I re recruited three, two of those people certified today, and they are on fire. The best thing as a leader that you can do is recruit somebody that is on fire and excited for this business. It will light a fire in you and remind you why you started. I want all of you guys on this call to ask yourself, when's the last time you've recruited? Don't get mad at your teams if they're not recruiting and you're not recruiting. Don't get mad at your teams if they're not posting on the team page, but you're not posting on the team page. Don't get mad at your team if they're not producing and you're not producing. They're going to follow you. And if they're not following you, grow a new team. I say that with every love, but every time I promote a director, I have to regrow my team because that was my excited blood. So they done flew off the nest and left me and took their excitement to their own little place and left me hanging. I have to regrow my team. That's normal. If y'all think that leadership is going to be all up here and you're going to be like, oh, everybody's excited all the time. I'm here to tell you there as many times I've wanted to get on my team page and just be like, I'm deleting it. I'm done. This long ass post I just did and not one of y'all commenting like I'd get butt hurt I can't make people do anything they don't want to do and the more and more that you pour into dead weight you will die too and once you lose your fire and you lose your excitement for your business you become one of those people that thrive off of motivation to work your business and motivation is a comes and goes if you're riding on whether you're going to feel like working your business or book a party or sponsor you'll never feel like it you'll never feel like it but a lot of people ride their business on motivation I want to inspire you and encourage you guys today and this for this month and next month that if you're in that place where your team's not producing grow a new team pretend you're a certified consultant I go into every month pretending I just started every month I pretend I'm in my shooting star period. I pretend I'm in sensational start. I pretend I'm promoting. Every single month I go into, let, how do I promote to lead? I need to sponsor somebody. I need to do this. Once you stop focusing on what you can't control, 
and focusing on what you can control, your business is going to bloom. Last Y'all know, last December, I was about to delete Redeem Blessings because I was over it. And then I said to myself, your focus is on the wrong thing. Katie, you're writing your leadership skills on a comment and a like on a Facebook comment, on a Facebook post. That's not your effectiveness as a leader. Your effectiveness as a leader is to teach and show the way. Doesn't matter if nobody comments on your post. Somebody saw it. Doesn't matter if they don't comment on it. They saw it. I'm not saying that lack of engagement is a great feeling. It sucks. But don't focus on those people. When you focus on the bad, you're going to miss the great. You're going to miss the good in this business when you focus on what's not. When you focus on the ones that aren't producing, you're going to miss that one that wants to be home with their baby or that one that wants to get out of debt or that one that wants to pay for their wedding. If you're focused on the hundred, and I'm telling y'all, y'all hear me and I say one out of 10, one out of 10 people are going to want this business. I have a front line of a hundred and I have nine directors. The numbers are there one out of 10. Some of y'all have a team of 10 and you're getting pissy because only one person participates. That's normal, boo. <laughs> that is normal. Focus on that one. Stop focusing on the ones that don't want to. You're not, nothing you say is going to make them work. You think you're going to do a live video and get them to book some parties? You're wrong. You, they might do it that day, but they're not going to do it the next day. Motivation comes from within. It comes from within. Stop focusing on what you can't control. Focus on what you can control. So reflect, reflect on where you've been and change going it. When I, Chloe asked us today what my vision for 2021 is. My vision for 2021 is when we do these calls, I'm not speaking anymore. It's pulling my Stacey Edwards, my Kayla Baker, my Emma. I know I'm gonna say your name wrong, but I'll do it anyway because I know you think it's funny, Kalu is pulling Kelly Campbell's because there's so much value in this group. So much value that you guys don't need to hear from the same people. That's my goal going into 2021 is pulling that greatness out of each and every single one of these amazing leaders that we have in our group of 2,500 people. So I want to inspire you today. If you're burned out, it's okay to take a step back doesn't mean that you suck. It doesn't mean that you failed. You know how hard it was for me today to say, y'all know what team? I'm not doing team meetings anymore. I've done them for four years. It almost felt like I was breaking up with my team. But I said, I show up for y'all every day. I show up for it. So when y'all become a lead consultant, then you get me again. You get me every month, but I can't do it all at the expense of, of myself and not seeing the repercussions of what I'm doing or reaping what I'm sowing. So I want you guys to get, Laura, and I, Laura, I was just about to say that, go back to the basics. This is a simple business, y'all. Parties, follow-up, PRV, PRV, sponsoring and working with your team. And if you're overwhelmed, you're probably doing too much. If you're overwhelmed and you're a lead consultant, you're doing too much. If you're overwhelmed and you're a director and you're overwhelmed and it has nothing to do with your business, but with your team, you're doing too much. I want you guys to re remind you guys that leadership is important and people do look at you for direction. But when you sign up, you sign up as an independent Sensi consultant. An independent Sensi consultant. Nobody signs up and is an amazing leader. Nobody signs up and is like, oh my God, I know all the leadership things. No, the best thing that you can do for your team is show them how you're working. Nothing more and nothing less. How did you do that recruit? How did you do that? I'm telling you, Thursday, tomorrow, I'm talking about a live video on how to do Ernicus because that's how I've worked my business the last three months and it's worked. How you're working. That's the best thing you can get for your team is showing up for them. Grow new blood. And I'm telling you, y'all, some of y'all get butt hurt when I say this. Two recruits a month. And that's doable if you're consistently parting and growing your business and following up with your customers. 
there's no nothing like it, y'all. There's nothing like sponsoring new blood and they're excited. It's the best feeling. The best feeling. Start over. It's never too late, even if you're a director up here or you're a superstar consultant, it's never too late to start over. I start over every three months, every six months. I say, okay, this shit ain't working. I got to do something different. This is, I do not like this. This is not a good feeling. I got to change it up. There's no right or wrong way. And I want to empower you guys to tonight that if you come to me and you say, hey, Katie, I'm overwhelmed. How should I work? My answer is going to be, how should you work? Because I don't live in your life. I don't know what works for you. For me, it's writing crap down like this that makes no sense to anybody else, but makes sense to my brain. This isn't going to work for you. Because how y'all going to know what base means? I know what base means. It means I need to order a base for Cindy Flacco and mail it to her niece's address that she just sent me. But y'all ain't going to know that just by reading it. Do what works for your brain and stop. Last thing, and I'm passing it to Ray Ray. Stop comparing yourself to other people please because y'all look at me and I know y'all do it by some of the Instagram messages I get and some of the text messages I get I know some of y'all do it and say I can't do what you do Katie but y'all don't know what it took and y'all don't know how many times I failed I redo my system like every three six months I redo everything every three to six months sometimes I go back to what I originally did there's no right or wrong way. There's no right or wrong way. So I want you to reflect on your personal businesses. Stop comparing because every time you compare, I'm if y'all have to stop watching people's stories, do it. I did. I stopped watching stories. I stopped. I unfollow people. If I And it has nothing to do with them. It's a Katie problem. It has nothing to do with anything that they're doing. It's a Katie problem because the second I do it, I said, oh my God, I should do that too. Oh my God, I need to do that too. Oh my God, hers was better than mine. Nobody cares. And the second that you do that and you compare yourself, you kill everything that you are and you automatically devalue yourself and make yourself unworthy that nobody has to turn you down. Nobody has to say no to you. Nobody has to make you feel discouraged because you're doing it to yourself. This is the year that you got to get out of your mind and be authentically you. When I decided to be authentically me and was okay with it, my business started to bloom. When I started to be myself and not try to do it like other people. And now I have a few people on this call that got to put my ass in check every now and then and be like, mm. Why are you doing that? Why are you getting stuck in your head? Who have you talked to? I have a few people that will tell me quick. You've done watch something that you shouldn't have done. You don't listen to something that you shouldn't have listened to and look how it's affecting you, your mindset. And your mindset controls your entire business and it controls your entire life. So reflect on your business. Prepare your teams for Christmas cutoff. I'm going to say it again because best believe this time next month, I'm going to hear it. My teams, they're not working no more. They don't took off for Christmas. Christmas cutoff, what does that mean? It don't matter. People still need Cincy after January, after December 25th, okay? So preparing for Christmas cutoff means I'm already booking parties for December and I'm getting them out next month to next week to close on the first week of December. It means getting my customers ready for for Christmas bundles and giving them a cutoff. It means not running yourself ragged until Christmas cutoff. It's be, I'm done by the 5th of December and have since I started. The 5th, I do a whole month's worth of PRV in five days. So I can rest. And so I can be with my family. No, I almost threw up, Brenda. So it won't a short of breath. I was trying to suck my vomit back. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> but all right front load reflect prepare reflect and prepare stay in your lane don't compare and I want you guys to start taking pride in yourself I think so many people don't want to share because they feel like they have nothing of value to share because you feel like you're not good enough to share 
you started this for a reason. There's something about you that you love about yourself. And even if you think, even if the one thing I love about myself is I can make anybody laugh, anybody. And normally it's at myself, but I love that about myself. And I said to myself and I said, and I've said it for a few months. I'm like, why don't I do that to my team? Why do I show my team a serious Katie when I'm not serious? When I do play, when I, why don't I show them that side of me? There's no right or wrong way to do it, y'all. Be, once you become comfortable and authentically, you're going to find so much joy in this business. So that's all I want to say. I'm leaving y'all with that. Stop focusing on dead weight. New blood. I'm challenging mm -hmm. every leader up here, two recruits this month, two recruits. And when you find that excited one, you're going to remember what leadership's about. I'm giving it to you real quick, Ray, because I got to go to the other room real quick. Okay, you good? <laughs> okay, y'all. So I am going to talk about this app that I just implemented. I'm super excited. And maybe some of you guys already have an app, maybe the same one or similar to it. So I, for the last like month, maybe even longer, I've really been um, digging in deep on what's working for me, what's not working for me. Something that's not working for me is my VIP Facebook group. Um, I've tried this for forever. It's just something that for whatever reason, it does not bring me joy. It stresses me out more than anything. I forget to post there because I'm so focused on my team page, leadership page, my Instagram, like other areas in my business that I forget my VIP page. The other thing about it is my VIP page is dead, literally. I have like one or two customers that might post up there every now and then, but majority of my customers, when I send them something in the mail or when they get their order, they already automatically tag me on Instagram. So I said, you know what? And I know, I know Chloe did this. I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this a try. So I went live in my VIP page and I had multiple customers get up there and I was like, look, this page isn't working for me. You guys will always be my VIP group, but I'm going to try something different. So what I did, I downloaded a mass text app. Now, before I put all of my contacts into this app, it's strictly my, my VIPs is what's in this app. Um, I asked them, hey, do you want to be a part of my text update? So I gave them the opportunity. I didn't just automatically put them in this app, okay? Um, you can't see me? Oh, sorry, let me make myself a host. Sorry, spotlight on me. Sorry. So I asked them before, I think that is super important. Give your customers the opportunity to say, yes, I want to receive text messages from you or no, I don't, okay? You owe that to your customers. So. I'm going to show you guys, and I also took a screenshot. It'll be posted on the leadership page so you guys can see exactly what app I'm using, how it works. Um, what's really cool about this app is you can try it for free for seven days to see if you like it. After that, you do have to purchase it. Um, I looked earlier for a year subscription. I think it was $60. Um, monthly was like $15. So if you plan on using it and you like it for that month, it's, it's really worth just doing the whole year subscription versus the monthly, but obviously that's up to you and it is going to be a tax write off. So this is what the app looks like. You guys probably can't see it. I'll screenshot it um, and put it on the group. So basically when I open my app, it gives me different groups. I can create groups. So initially I downloaded this app for my customers. Um, I have 59 VIPs roughly. Um, VIPs, I literally consider them if they are a Cincy Club member, if they are purchasing from me often. It's called Hit em Up. Hit Um E M Up. Okay. And it has a green microphone as like the, what am I trying to say? The logo. Um, so you can create groups within this app. So what's really cool is I have a VIP group. Okay. I also have a new consultant group. I made these, I put any of my new consultants who are in their first 90 days into my new consultant group. That way, for example, for the products that just released, um, the hand soaps, the bricks, and then the scent of the month and the warmer of the month, 
I texted my new consultants, sent them pictures with this app. Okay, it's a mass app. You can literally create the message and send it to all those people in that group. Okay, so I, I also have one for my frontline directors. I'm going to make one for all of my directors in my group. I'm also going to make one for my frontline only. So you guys can obviously make your own groups however you want to do that. Um, but that way I can update people without having to literally go to my phone, type in their contact and do all that. Now this app will merge in with, your, with the contacts already in your phone. Now the, the part that is time consuming is making the groups going through your actual contact list and saying, hey, I want this person in this group. But once you do it, it is a game changer. Now I will show you guys, for example, I made like a fake group. Um, so I could show you exactly how it works. Hold on, let me remove some people. I'm gonna leave Katie in it. She's gonna be like, what the heck? I'm gonna put my husband in it. He's gonna be like, what are you texting me? Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this. So these are my groups. You guys can't see that, can you? No. Anyway, so what I really like about this, your customer, whoever you are sending the text message to cannot tell that it's a mass text. So it's being sent individually. Like I literally went into my contacts tab and I sent Kayla an actual text like me to her by ourselves. Okay. So that's what I really like. They can't tell that that I'm sending this to a million different people. So you can make it personal. Um, there's even an area here, whatever you named the person in your contact. So for example, if I said, um, if I put Kayla as the first name in my contact, I can literally say, hey, there's a button that says first name. So it'll put her name in it to individualize it and personalize it so that I can send it to that person with my link and everything. So you guys can check out that app. Um, I think it's worth it. I am obsessed with it. My customers love it so far. So for example, the first thing that I sent out um, recently was about the buddy drive. So I wrote up everything. I put the link to the video for the buddy drive so they could get more information. I put the link to my website directly to the buddies where they could see which buddies were available. I got 10 buddies just from sending that list to my VIP group. If they want to reply, they reply. If they don't, they don't. But it's also a much, what, what, what am I trying to say? It's also, um, your customers are more likely to see what's releasing versus an email and versus a Facebook page where the algorithm might hide a post from your customers. So if you don't like, yes, hit them up, Sarah, you're correct. Um, if you don't like your VIP page and you think it's lacking um, and you want to try something else, definitely try this. But like I said, um, I think the biggest thing is just ask your customers before you put them in this list. Um, I had one customer tell me that she prefers email over all of my other customers. So that's what, um, that's what I'm doing. I have not tried this, but I am trying it next week. Um, I have a girl who wants to do a party, but all the parties in the past with me haven't been that successful on Facebook. So I offered to do a text party. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to put the contacts in this. And that's how I'm going to do my text parties is right here from this app. So I will let you guys know how that works. Um, it's going to be easier where you can just put it in and send it to the same person over and over. Okay. So Y'all have any questions? Yes, text is where it's at for freaking sure. So that's what I implemented. I'm using it for customers and team. Um, I think my most favorite part about the app is that I can connect with my teamies. Guys, once you guys grow to a large um, amount of teammates, I'm not gonna lie, it's hard to keep up. It is, especially when you don't talk to someone on a regular basis. Um, you don't necessarily forget about them, but your brain can only hold so much capacity. So I have found that if I don't literally write someone's name down, 
I forget to check up on them. And that's because we're human. We have a million other things going on in our life, not just in our business. So this, um, this app is going to help me tremendously keep track of, especially my new recruits, because Staying with them in the first 90 days is literally the most important step when they join. They need to know that you are there with them. Not every step of the way. You're literally just showing them how to fly. Okay. You're not hand, you're not holding their hand. You're just showing them how to fly. So yeah. So for example, I'll show you guys. So um, I'll show you what it looks like. So when I like, I'll go back to a text that I sent. Okay, so I sent this from my app and it literally looks like I sent her a regular text message. So it doesn't even look like I sent it from an app, which is the best part. I don't want them to know that, which my customers know, I already straight up told them that I was going to be looking into getting a mass text app. I'm very upfront with my customers, my VIPs anyway. So they already knew that I was doing this, but it also feels um, more intimate rather than saying, hey, this was sent with this app. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, definitely try it out. Um, try it for free for seven days. You can get it in the iTunes store. I'm sure Android has it too. I don't know exactly, but no, Brenda, it's just like I sent them a private message. So it's not like I literally put it in a group. You know, like if you send a regular mass message it goes into like a group chat a group chat like on your phone and then everyone's phone's dinging when someone replies it's not like that it's like an individual thread yes it goes directly to my phone so give it a try for that week um trial and let me know if y'all like it and if you guys like figure out you know another type of group that you guys think would be really good like drop it in the leadership page. Let us all know, okay? I mean, you guys can use this for more than your business too. You can put your family up in there. There's something else that I've done. Happy holidays. I'm like doing that, I'm like doing that for Christmas. <laughs> Merry <laughs> Christmas. Jesus, I hate sending Merry Christmas on Christmas morning. I got to send it to like 50 million people. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to prepare this year. So uh, that's a group. I mean, with the chat. What I did was I use um, the Facebook Messenger group for my frontline, and it seems to work really well. I don't know. Are you in the same group chat, though? With my frontline, yeah. And they bounce ideas off of each other, and it works really well. That's something that I've tried that, but then I have people message me individually, and they're like, hey, I didn't really want to put this in the group. Um, I'm like, okay. I don't know. I don't have the problem, so. And it's like, why would you want? Oh, I just need to know what the price of the new warmer coming out thirst. <laughs> the thing about that group is somebody will always comment, so I don't have to. That's why I always do it. So I don't get questions 50 million times. They've already asked the group, so. Yeah. Oh, I feel like everybody can kind of feel it in my comments now, the, the level of like frustration with some of the questions. I'm like, it's in your news tab. Oh, I didn't see it. We'll read it again then. Yep. <laughs> Please. <laughs> that is, um, that's all that I had to share. We went over everything. Do y'all have anything that you guys want to chat? We got 15 minutes and we on time. Who said we couldn't do it? Oh, somebody asked me about text coaching about me doing text coaching. I don't yeah. do the forms anymore. I look at, and I literally, like if they have 5,000 PRV, I literally say, you need to talk to some of those people that got you that 5,000 PRV and flip that PRV. Like it's nothing fancy about the coaching. And it's so much, my people have been very receptive to it. Very, very receptive to it because it's, they don't have to get on the phone with me. So I feel like they can be like more honest and open and they don't feel like they'll, I, Alyssa Williams is one of my frontline. She just certified last month and we've been doing test, text coaching and she literally has six sponsoring conversations and three of them are about to join. And she joined in May. It's taken me forever to get her certified. But once we started doing text coaching and like, 
being very intentional and not a million things for her to do, but to focus on one thing. And then once she conquered that one thing, even if it took her a whole month, then we would move on to the next thing. So for those of you guys that work a lot and you want to coach with your team, but you just don't want to do calls, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Like start with two or three people and try texting, just text coaching. Yep. And that's what I'm using this app for. I'm literally, well, for my new consultants anyway, I'm literally just texting them like tasks. Hey, go live today talking about your favorite product. Text me back once you do it. Abby had a good question right then. So Abby, what, what title are you? And I'm going to be honest. I started my own team page when I recruited my first person. Um, right real. now I am. Like they're still, on, they were still on my, they were, they were still on my director's group, but I wanted to start that culture early on with them because I'm not the leader type that working, starting with one person, it's not going to be shell shock to you when you grow a team. Like if you wait till you're a director to start leading, you're going to be very, very overwhelmed. So if you start it right when you sponsor your first person, that's just my opinion. But Abby, they should still be added to your director's page until you are a director because your director is their stewarder. Technically, you know, they're the one held responsible for training them. Not that you're not responsible, but um, plus it builds a better culture when they're on that page as well, because, you know, they have other people as well yep yeah and I'm gonna bounce off that um I completely agree with Stacy. I've seen where consultants um who hit star made their own team page and then when they hit SSC decided they wanted to take all of their team off of my page when I was their director they hadn't hit director yet that girl ended up having some problems at home or in her personal life ended up falling falling off and then guess what now all of her team basically fell off. So I, I'm 100% with Stacy. They, even if you decide to make a team page now, I think that's absolutely great. Um, I think it depends on how active the people in your group are. I, depends, I think it depends on how active you are. Um, but I do think that they should stay on your director's page until you reach director. Yeah, it's almost like, I don't know if, I know some of my, my directors have experiences and I have too, but I'm one of those, like, the more help, the merrier. Like, I never get butt hurt and be like, that's my girl. She can't yeah, I don't on your page. Like, I'm, I'm like, get help from where you can get help from. Um, but I have seen star consultant and superstar consultant to rip them from redeemed and they suffer. They, the team suffers, not the leader. The team suffers because they're not getting what they need to do. So do add them to both. And it's going to make you more confident and less overwhelmed when you do hit director. I don't even like my directors to take their people off the team page until at least two months of getting paid a title because I have found yeah. in the past that they take their team off immediately. And then they don't know how to, I don't want to say know how to step up as a director, but they they're used to their director doing all the coaching on all the leadership. Um, my team page, I can say this and I'm, I don't, I'm sorry if it hurts anybody's feelings. It's on my team. that's on this call, but nine times out of 10, I'm the only one that posts on my team page. Most people will post a picture of them making samples or packaging an order, but that's not income producing for everyone else on the team. That was just showing what you were doing. And when you become, when you're stepping more into a leadership role, you need to be sharing things that are going to help your team grow, you know, PRV, sponsoring, recruiting, coaching versus that the fluff that a lot of people get caught up on as they promote. That's what I have personally found from my experience with, you know, leaders in my group. No, I so agree. Here's the thing, like people get so psyched out, like I don't want to hit director because I have to do so much. Listen, if you start leading the people you sponsor when you hit lead consultant, it's the same thing as if you're a director or a superstar director. The, the, the tasks are the exact same. The only thing that changes the, is the amount of people. So if you start leading as soon as you sponsor that first person, like, I get it. I didn't want to hit director. I was trying to hold parties back because I didn't want to hit it because I had a high expectation that I couldn't do it. But I've always led my team since the day I sponsored. And that's the difference. 
people let life circumstances happen and they do that on their teams because life gets hard. Once you do that on your teams, you lose trust. You can't get it back when you decide you want to work your business. Be like, come here, team. I'm back. They're going to be like, yeah, you're back for this month. And then, like, something's going to happen. You're going to be gone again. You lose that trust. And they follow you. I have a director right now in the queue that has a team of 60. And she can't get paid at title. She has two active frontline in a team of 60. And nobody is working. Because she do that on her business. And yes, you have that influence on your team. I you have that in- that, because that they don't a lot of people that um a lot of people that have promoted to director or especially quick, I've noticed that what they did from the beginning was they started acting like a director the moment they hit lead consultant. They were always coaching their team, always showing up, leadership page, their team page. So when they promoted to director, they kept getting paid as a director because they were doing the same things all the time versus some people that you I've seen that go in the queue. And I like try to take notes because I saw that I can one be a better leader at always. But I've noticed that people that fall into the queue, they didn't start leading from the front until they promoted to director. And now they don't they don't know how to lead or work with their team because they haven't been doing it. Um, so that's one of my biggest advice to you guys that haven't promoted to director yet is just, is just to start now because what you do now matters and you, a lot of people don't realize it, but you really do have the power to change someone's life, um, with this business. And just because they don't want it now doesn't mean they won't want it later. But I did a training on the leadership page. What sometime this week about teams that don't want it, let them go, keep recruiting, keep building because it's gonna, you know, build that culture that you want. And even if you have like one tiny thing to share about leadership, share it, share it on your director's page because they don't want to hear their director 24 seven. They want to hear somebody else. So when you pull your people, like I just, uh, they're my directors on here, destiny. I just pulled her team after three months of hitting consistently paid a title for director. I pulled her team from my page because now it's her turn to lead her team the way she wants to lead her team. I still share knowledgeable information on her team page and she doesn't care because it's another person sharing something different than what she has so there's always somebody that you're going to think that you're not i posted something on the leadership page today i got three people to comment you guys got to interact and comment because people are taking the time to post like stacy every single week like five posts a week katie like all of them they're pulling time from their their lives to post and share with you on posting on other pages as well. So comment and interact. Those are posted on there for you guys to learn things and interact for ways to be how you're leading your team, how you're stepping up, how you're doing thing, these things. Because we, we want to hear how you're working because uh, uh, directors and above, we get stagnant as well. It happens. I'm stagnant right now. And I want to know new ways that you're working so I can maybe implement that in my business or I can teach my team how to do that. So it's a culture of sharing. And I think that's where we kind of get, some people get selfish when we don't share. And that's why it kind of is always like, oh, we need to share on the leadership page. You need to share. It's not because we're doing it because we're, we're tired of posting. It's because we want to hear what the heck you're doing. Because I get bored with what I do all the time. I want to piggyback off of what you just said real quick. This is not directed to directors because y'all do the damn thing. This is directed to leads and above, below directors. The best thing you can do for your director is to show up and comment and participate and share because there's a, I don't know what people's brain is about this because they do it on Redeem. Oh, that's Katie's page because she's the director. I'm still a person. I still have a business I have to run. I still have to sponsor. I still have PRV. I still have orders to package. I still have samples to make. Like just because I'm a director doesn't mean that it's the one man show. And that's so boring. That would, that's so boring. If you go on your director's page, if you go on your director's page right now and you scroll three finger scrolls and you only see your director's name, that's a problem. If you are a lead consultant, listen to me. Your director didn't sponsor your girls. They didn't sponsor your front line. You did. And your front line has no relationship with the director. So they're not going to listen to anything they say until they have a relationship with them and get to know them. 
they have a relationship with you and they join under you. It's your job when you take the responsibility of sending your website to somebody to join under. You sent katielasser.cincy.us slash join for them to join. You are res- accepting responsibility to show up to that person. And that may sound cliche and not serious to most people, but I take that very seriously. Because if you have time to send them that link and then put their social security number in and then you don't talk to them again and you don't train them and you don't show up once a week on your director's page and then have the audacity to complain that you're not growing, you're not going to grow if you don't share. Every time somebody shares something, I learn from it. I didn't just get here because I knew it all. I learned because somebody shared it with me and I learned. And I'm forever grateful for those people that shared everything they had to share about this business because I wouldn't have changed my life if it wasn't for those people sharing. And it's that serious. How you book that party? What if you shared it and that person booked a party and they got their first $2,000 paycheck and paid for their kids' schooling or paid for their kids' Christmas. It's that serious because one thing can change your entire business. And you don't know what thing that's going to be. You don't know. You don't know if it's going to be a party, a recruit. You don't know what it's going to be. But one thing can change your business. And too many people are sitting back relying on other people to do it. I had people message me about something. Hey, Katie, where did you find this? Where did you find this? You do it. Stop waiting on me to do it. Stop waiting on Kayla to do it or say, if something has to be created, create it. Create it. I want to add to that. Yeah, I want to add to that. Your, Your team, it's okay to take someone else's content and put it on your page. If you think it's valuable, you see Stacy posting something on her team page, take it and post it to your team page. But if that is the only way you are getting content on your own page, that is a problem. You have to create your own content for your page. Does it have to be daily, your own content? Absolutely not. But at least three, four times a week, that content you're sharing better come from you. It needs to come from you. And this is because your team that is watching you post all these things on your team page They know what is coming from you and what's coming from another leader. They can tell just by the way you post. People look at how you talk. They look at what your wording's like. They look at different words that are capitalized. My team can tell when I copy something from Chloe Cox and post it from when I actually take the time to sit down and write what I'm doing. And usually the content that I share is something that I've been struggling with and I decided to get my ass up and do something and do something about it and change it. So then I'll share it on my team page. But if you are not building that connection by sharing your personal content, what you are personally doing in your personal business with your team versus just taking everyone else's content, Your team is going to know, and I promise you, you are not doing anything but hurting those relationships with your teammates. I had a girl recently ask um, why her team wasn't growing, and I see it all the time. She's constantly taking content from other leaders who came up with that content and posting it to her team page. That's fine, but I don't ever see her bringing her own ideas to the table, her own content to the table. And I I 100% believe that that is how you build relationships. Guys, you've heard it over and over again. This is a relationship business with your customers, with your teamies, with your upline, with all of your downline, with home office. Like literally that's all we are. We are a relationship business. If you cannot master relationships, you need to move to something else. But that's what I have to say. I locked my hug now. I got to unlock. Well, um, I want to well, piggyback. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Uh-uh. Um, I fine. just wanted. Okay. I wanted to piggyback off what you were saying earlier, Katie. Um, 
just with having your team engaged on your team page, it not only, you know, makes, I don't know what I'm trying to say exactly, but I, I think it's like you said, you're going to have those people that always work and, you know, you can't make anyone work. But at the same time, if you're, if you have the people that, you know, have gotten down on their self or just aren't sure, you know, anymore that they can do it, but that you still know that they can do it and in the back of their mind, they can do it, but they are just kind of down on their self at that time. I think with everyone posting, so versus just me as a director posting on my page. And like you said, okay, they're going to see it and say, now you're going to have those, you're going to have those people that work it all the time. And they're like, yeah, I'm doing that. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to do it better, whatever. And that's fine. But then you're going to have those people that see it as, you know, well, she's a director. So that's why she can do this. Or, you know, she's gotten this far. So I'm, I'm not a director yet. I can't do that. But if you see a continuing, um, like posting from other people, from lead consultants, from star consultants, from certified consultants, from essential, whatever you are, I think that helps motivate other people to be like, well, if she can do it, I can do this too. And, and just like you said before, like I enjoy, I am not the best at packaging up or I don't think I am at packaging up like um, people's stuff. Like I love to see, I always tell my girls from day one, like post on this page. It's not my page. It's our page, you know, share what you have. And I'll be like, I'll be the first one to tell you, Hey, yours looks better than mine. Not that I'm comparing, but I just think like it, it even gets me motivated. So I think it can get other people motivated as well. And it just makes for a more hyped up, you know, team. I don't know. I just think it's really great when everyone is involved because I really think that that can help those people that feel like they're lacking in their business and they feel like that they're, you know, not doing as well as they could be. I think from seeing multiple people's, you know, everybody works yourself their business differently and everybody's different. But I think from seeing, you know, different people's perspectives, it just, I don't know, to me, it just gets me, it gets me excited. Like I enjoy seeing everybody. I'm like, yes, this is what it's all about. You know, that's all I want to say. I wanted to, sorry, who was that? Katie, were you going to say something? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I was just going to say, so I wanted to shout out Shelby uh, Cook because last month she posted something about how she was doing a how I'm working challenge or something like that. And it might've been somebody else's idea, but I got, I saw it from her and we posted it on our page and we've done it the last, I think it was the last two months now. I scrolled back through October and I think maybe one fourth of the posts were from me, but everything else was from other people on our team page, whether it was leaders, whether it was just a uh, essential consultant or a certified, I had people who had just joined who were posting. So it's, if you haven't done the how I'm working challenge on your page, I encourage you to do it. I also encourage you to start it if you're not a director and you want to start it um and honestly the prize can be something really simple i'm actually doing scratch and sniff stickers and i'll post why those are my prize on the leadership page because i actually started doing something different uh because samples don't bring me joy so <laughs> we'll go into that uh in a post but yeah i just wanted to say shout out to shelby if you haven't done the how i'm working challenge you should definitely do it Yeah, that, that challenge is off the chain. And Katie, we can't hear you because you're muted. <laughs> you're muted. <laughs> Darn it. As I said, in, I want you guys to ask yourselves if you do have team pages. Is all your posting sensing? My intention with everything that I do in my business, whether it be my VIP page, my correspondence with my customers, my correspondence with my team, is to build a relationship with them. So if all you're doing 
doing is posting, but you're not texting them outside of your Facebook group. You're not asking them how they're doing, how they're working. If all you're doing is posting, 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 but you don't know anything about your team, you're not going to grow your team. Your team is going to stay because of how you make them feel and if they feel valued. If they don't feel valued, if they feel like they're just a number, if they feel like you don't know who in the fart they are and you're not doing I like to do fun engagement posts, but I like to do inspirational. I ask for prayer for some of my team members tonight. It's building a relationship so that way they are comfortable to coach with me. They are, they do realize I'm a person and I do care about them and I do love them. So if you have a small, and I know some of my directors, second and third gens that have smaller teams, y'all struggle with engagement. Start building relationships off of Facebook. If a Facebook was deleted tomorrow, would you have relationships with your team? My best relationships are with my frontline directors. I have the best relationships because I know them. I know them as people, not just as what their PRV is and not just who they sponsored that month. I know them as people and because I got to know them, they're comfortable with working with me and coaching with me. So start build just like you would when you build up somebody to recruit them or you build up a customer. It's a relationship, right? Right now, it's a relationship. And that goes with your downline too. It takes two seconds to voice text people. And I'm telling you, it changes the whole day. And then a week later, they'll say, you know what? I did have a question because they know that you care about them. People can feel how you make them feel. You make them feel like they're just a number or just a paycheck or you just want them to do all the things, but you don't want a relationship with them, you're going to fail very quickly. And I say that with a lot of love in my heart. You can't rise without your team. You can't rise. You can't promote. You cannot get paid at title without your team. I know some of y'all be acting like I'm Britney Spears or somebody. Y'all be getting real emotional. I'm like, chill out. It's just, I'm nothing special, okay? But it makes a difference. And some of y'all need to get back to, stop overcomplicating this business and love people and care about people and your problems for your business problems will solve themselves. Love your team because you can't get paid at title without them and you can't promote without them. And I'm telling you, if you did, it would take, the joy out of this business. My greatest joy is watching other people do amazing things. And if you're not in this business as a leader for that sole purpose, you're missing out on the best part about this business. Because your life is going to be blessed when you bless people. Your priest, your blessings are going to come back tenfold when you start pouring into other people Heidi and Orville say it best arrows out if your arrows are always out and you're not looking for a promotion you're not looking for anything in return it's going to happen automatically so stop thinking about engagement stop thinking about a promotion stop thinking about those things and start thinking about people when you're trying to recruit how can this bless them not about oh I need one more active frontline to promote no, how can this bless them? Because they can feel it. They can feel when it's all about you. When you're trying to get people to party, do you want some free stuff? Stop thinking about a title. Stop thinking about the next step and enjoy where you're at. Chastity Robinson says that best. If you're a lead consultant, be the best damn lead consultant you can be. Star consultant will come. You focus on being the best at where you're at right now, stay in your lane and love people. You're going to watch your business bloom. People tell me all the time, how did you find success in this business? And my response is always the same. I didn't because I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. My customers chose to buy from me. My team decided to join under me. That wasn't anything Katie did. And when you start loving people genuinely and authentically, 
and being authentic with you, you're going to watch your business bloom. Put people first, put your team first. I don't care how busy you are. If you have no content to post on your team page or your director's team page, you're not working. If you haven't posted in a month and you're a lead consultant, you're not working. And I say that with love, but if you have nothing to share with your team, why did you sponsor them? That is not fair and that's not right. Don't do that. Send them to my website to join if you plan on doing that. Okay. I'll drop in the comments on this video. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But if you have no intention to lead, then don't do it. Nobody's forcing you to do it. But showing up for them, you, they deserve that. And I don't, I know life happens and I know things happen in your life and life gets hard, but you can show up once a week. There's 24 hours in a day, y'all takes two seconds two seconds to show up so that's my challenge for y'all you show up for them and you show up for your business you're going to watch big things happen I said this on my team page you be consistent for three months uh, this is my challenge for every single person on this call I want you to be consistent for three months I don't care if you get a no every day for three months I want you to be consistent in PRV your PRV goal in sponsoring and working with your team and then come talk to me in three months because three months of consistency will change your life is tori up here tori joined in freaking august and she's at star director numbers august three months of consistent work will change your life oh she the iphone you the creepy iphone i don't like that i'm like oh there's some creep creep up here uh, it says Apple, <laughs> the creeper. Three months of consistent work will change your life. But too many of y'all don't want to be consistent because it's hard, because it's uncomfortable, because it's scary. I'm telling you the scary thing. I live for fear now. I live for the scare. I live for the, the nervousness in my stomach before I do something scary, because that means something good's about to happen. Three months of consistent work, change your life, change your business. That's my challenge for you. Do the scary things. Three months. Carolyn said, I'm going for a director. That's three months. Get your systems in place. This is not a hard business, y'all. Too many of y'all overcomplicating this. It is not hard. PRV, sponsoring, working with your team. And if you are sponsoring and if you're getting PRV, then you know how to work with your team. Because you're doing it. Three months of consistent work. Do it. Do it. Do it. Put your back into it. Now we are over. See, y'all done made us go 15 minutes over. Look at y'all. I'd be ashamed. Hey, we may or may not have done it on purpose. <laughs> I love y'all so dad on. All right, go out and change the world. Change your life. Change other people's lives. I will be posting this on YouTube, but give me some time because it takes literally forever, okay? <laughs>